All right, I want to do a little bit of explaining of how to complete the probability notation. Um, I don't think that when we did the lesson today, I really went into that part. And so I want to talk about that. So today, when we did our unit or our notes on finding the areas, and I'm on page 16 in this unit six packet, then I had, uh, we had found the areas. And so we talked about finding the X value and finding the Z score and then how to compute that area by using the calculator to norm CDF the area we wanted. Now, what I did not do was explain to you how to do this probability notation. So look at this area that I have in blue. So since this is a problem, where I want to go above and I want to find the area above a particular place, then and it's, I want to find it above a z-score of 2.2. So then here, look at this notation, capital P and then parentheses, z is greater than 2.2. So, you know, I know some of you struggle with how to do your inequalities. Well, this inequality, you know, is pointing to the direction that you want your area to go, okay? So, because we want our Z's to be greater than, the big part of the inequality, 2.2. So, then that's how we do that. So, this is really the way we want to put our final notation, and then we put that equal to the percent. So, that's how a final answer should look. So on our next one, again, when we were going above, we have our probability that z-score was greater than, and the z-score we had was negative 0.87. All right, now, it's a little trickier when you go in between two values. So let's take a look at that. So when I want to go in between these two z-scores, these two standardized z-scores, then I need to put my z in between them. So look at my capital P, because that stands for probability or percent or proportion of observations, all the three P's. So P, and then here's my parentheses, put the Z in between the two Z scores that you want it to be in between. And then look at how my inequalities go. They are pointing to the left because the left is less. So negative 1.5 is less than this Z, which is less than 0.2, okay? So they will always do that when you want to do the middle in between. So then this one here was the proportion or probability of oranges. So here's the Z score and I'm in between those two Zs. Okay, so then <clears throat> again, here was our summary that we had concluded that we had our area below a z-score was from negative 99 because that simulated negative infinity up to the z-score. Our area above, oh, and you know what? Let's put that probability notation in here. So here's how that would look. To do the probability for one of these ones that goes below, then we wanna do the probability that um, our z-score is less than whatever that number is, okay? So that is how you do that probability notation, and then you do your answer percent, okay? Let's go above. So the probability notation for that looks like this. The proportion of observations, or the probability, or the percent of the z-scores that are, we want to go above, so we want to go greater than, so that's going to point to the right because we're going above a particular number, okay? And then that would equal our number as a percent. Okay, and then let's do the in-between. So on this one, we have in-between two z-scores. So we have the probability or the proportion of observations, okay? Z goes in the middle. Z is in the middle, okay? All right, and then we have our, um, to the left of that, we have our low number, okay? And then that's how our inequality is. I actually, let me go ahead and write that in here. This is the um, low Z score, okay? And that low Z score is less than the Z, and that is less than, that Z score is less than the high 
number, whatever that is, okay? And then that will equal whatever our percent is. Okay. All right, so these are the ways then you want to make sure that you use these probability notations and that you write your, you know, you solve for the area, solve for the percent or the area, you know, the decimal to four decimal places so that you then move the decimal, so then move the decimal to get the whatever percent. Okay, all right. So there in summary is how you need to do your probability notation whenever you're coming up with your areas, whether that be above or below or in between. All right, so good luck to you on your assignment that practices this.